Hello everybody, it's Android Gamer. I'm back with Gabriel All Night. Uh, so we got right into it and went back to the bookstore and guys back asking about the painting. How much would you give me for it? Oh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Yeah, I'll let you have it all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My affairs are so tied up. Gabriel, a mm -hmm. hundred dollars for your father's painting? Stay out of this, Grace. Uh, don't want to because it's just pain his dad's painting, but based on the clue the hints I looked at. Fine. It's yo. Gabriel! Here. Here's the hundred. You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display. Though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a <clears throat> chance of someone actually seeing it. I can't believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show Sid. Okay, boyo. I don't believe you. It, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Yep. I wonder if she'll still be upset when I leave. <clears throat> I've got some things I need to do. Good luck. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so back to here. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what he can do with the shell now. Perhaps Gabriel should learn more about the scale before showing it to anyone. Fine. <clears throat> now they have enough money for the Hi. crocodile head. So not sure why I need a crocodile head, but whatever, man. You really doing fifty for Willie Jr. <laughs> Don't insult me, Monsieur. The price is one hundred and twenty dollars. What? You said you'd sell it for a hundred before. <laughs> you misheard, monsieur. The price was always one hundred and twenty. Yeah, yes, I give him the monies. I have a hundred twenty dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred and twenty Shona. That mask is yours, sir. Thank you. Why are you going back around your counter just to hand me the mask? Here you go. Carefully don't bite you now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now don't you go forgetting your lagging here. Yeah? Free bottle of master gambling oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Well, I was thinking a man as young as you wouldn't be needing that kind of remedy. But, uh, you's having problems with your, uh. Oh, uh, that's all right. Uh, believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks anyway. Because <laughs> it ain't none of my business if you do need it now, huh? I don't need it. Oh, of course you don't. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's do a look at it. 
four pairs of binoculars are rigorously mounted under cement floor. Those binoculars aren't going anywhere without a jackhammer. Thanks, boys. Okay. Find the right ones. Nope. Actually, let's try this one. It's on the first side, I'm pretty sure. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drama? Huh, Crash and the Drummer. Interesting. Sounds like an interesting band name, Crash and the Drummers. <clears throat> okay, let's go and talk to the drummer. See if he says anything. Beat. I dig it. The drummer does not respond. Or not? Okay, actually, let's see how much more I can dig around at my grandmother's. Which is. Precious boy, how wonderful of you to stop by. Can't stay away from you, Graham. Can we talk, talk Graham? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Mm. Tell me something about granddad. Your granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. Oh, I tell you what, though, he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another. And I'd tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Mm hmm. Oh. All right, dear. I'm gonna go up Upstairs. to the attic again. Enjoy yourself, dear. that would interest anybody but my grand. I don't think there's look. anything else in that trunk that would interest any Fine. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And so I look at some of the hints and one actually you can do right here, right now, with the clock. There's an interesting. So I think that's it. It's an antique clock key. On the 
dragon. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Once the clock's mechanism. Granddad Huel Fox. There we go. Grab this. Okay, what's in here? <clears throat> the old photograph shows Gabriel's grandfather with two other men that Gabriel has not identified. The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. Okay. The letter is addressed to mein Sohn Heinz and signed Wilhelm Ritter. One of the I'm reoccurring science. words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only other thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of a quill tip, bold strokes and underlining. Okay, let's go downstairs and talk to my grandmother. <clears throat> See what she knows. Can we talk, Grand? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Schottenjäger? Oh, how odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I, I don't think he answered me. Odd. Hmm. Huh. Thanks, Grant. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. Oh, I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Grand. <clears throat> your Granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to have the night legally when he arrived. Ah. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? Wolfgang Ritter? Oh, uh, no, dear. Huh. Oh. As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. <laughs> Well, Grand, I'd better get going. Let's go. Take it easy on those women out there, will you, Gabe? Women? You're my only girl, Grand. Oh, Gabe. Back to <laughs> the store for a second. And talk to Grace. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Especially being the paintings gone. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Hmm. Nope, 
nothing new, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Go back to the pub. Second sign. It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I'm gone, you bastard! I never needed to cheat yet, you loser. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Whoa, hold it! Do you really think Marcus uses this stuff? Would I make something like that up? Get out of here! Marcus would never use something like this! Well, if that's what you want to believe... Uh, okay. This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? This voodoo oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? You think it really works, huh? I'd stake my reputation as a novelist on it. Hmm. And you say Marcus uses this? That explains a lot. Let me see that bottle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a pimp's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. How much you think I ought to put in here? Careful, you don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. Ha! Yep. There's no such thing as too much. Now stand back. Down the hatch. Come on already, I'm ready to checkmate. We'll see about that, Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. <laughs> Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. <clears throat> Checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! What the years I've been waiting to say that! Checkmate! 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 You are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I have ever met. Checkmate! You... You can just put that chessboard where the sun don't shine. Hallelujah! I did it! Yippee! Well, there goes a friendship. Nice game. Nice game. Hell, I was brilliant. Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to Sam, you hear? Will do. You actually do have a favor now, Sam. Can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help you out. But I've been stuck in this bar too long to know much about anything. Could you do anything with this? What is this, a clay mold? Hmm. Well, I am a jeweler, you know. And I owe you one. Would you like me to cast this for you? If you can. You got it, pal. Actually, it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out. First time <laughs> in years. I've been too busy playing that goddamn game. I'll have the bracelet later today. Right now, I feel like I could do anything. Meet me here in a few hours. Great, thanks. And off he goes. <clears throat> okay. Let's go up myself. Hmm. What else can I do? Oh, yes, it is. Go here. 
Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Gabriel can't see a way to use that. The snake is too far away. The python is quite dangerous. I would stay back if I were you. Thanks for the... A very large, very formidable looking snake is secured in a plexiglass cage. The python is... Thanks for the advice. Okay. Let's see what else they can say. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, did some looking around, trying to figure out what's the next thing to do. I thought I should come back now that I have some information. Let's see if I can talk to Wolfgang. say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Yes, I did. Well, she did. I did as well. The number you have dialed has been disconnected. Please hang up and try your call again. This is a recording. Oop, I didn't do enough numbers, that's why. Zero nine three two four one two three four. Try that. Guten Tag, Sie haben Schloss Ritter erreicht. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Yeah, ja, ein Moment. Ja, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel now. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I've been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What in the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had dreams about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I knew that Heinz had a grandson, but until this dream started, I, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Heinz was my brother. There is much uh, about the family that you should know. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly, I don't know you from Adam. And I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. You are the last of our line. I'm too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey. Let's just see if there's anything new in the hints. Oh, there is. I'm gonna get a crash open up. Okay. Well, I will leave that for the next episode. Um, either way, this is the Android Gamer, Lair Days, and happy gaming!